<sighs> hey guys, what's going on? So basically, I just filmed the um, full face and makeup challenge. <clears throat> it feels so good taking it all off. Um, it was an absolute mess, but yeah, that will probably have been up before then, so you should go check that out if you haven't already, because it's stupid, and I've watched it too. Okay, so I was usually going to just be putting like my contour and foundation routine up, um, like update it every now and again, and then have the have all like, the eyeshadows and everything just to make a video short for you guys. But a lot of you have been asking me if I can actually do it in, and then just add a skip button for the people who are like, "Man, well, we don't want to watch you. We just want to watch makeup and blah blah blah." So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, today I'm gonna be doing like a bronzy kind of. I don't know, I never know what I'm going to do, like a bronze kind of look. I hope my skin's not going to get messed up from that challenge, but it was worth it because I found it funny. So I'm going to be using Baby Skin Primer. This is one of my favourite primers. And I'm just going to put that in my T-zone and leave it Like start on my T-zone and then blend out, kind of. The reason I am like here, not usually I have my setup a little bit over there, but because I was feeling kind of chill today and I was just doing a challenge and I just wanted to chill. Um, the foundations we're going to be mixing are the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear in Wheat and um, Max Studio Finish in Studio Fix Fluid, sorry, in NC20. I'm going to be playing demo with. Oh shit, that was way too much. Excuse my hair, it's a little bit crazy today. Basically, when I restock the foundation, I like to get one a little bit darker and one a little bit lighter, just because I wear tan, so sometimes I'm darker than my normal one. I don't have one normal foundation. And we apply it with the, I should know this by now, Oval 6 by MAC. These brushes are really nice. The little touch foundation thingy. No. Oh, I've got a lot of foundation. I've still got to the left. Uh, I hate that. I'm so bad at judging like amounts. It's fine. We'll work it. I look like a kneecap. These brushes are so good, they just, the foundation does just sit on them, so you really don't need a lot of foundation. I should know this by now. Kick face. Very no, no, no. Okay, to contour, I'm using LA Girl in Toast. blend out I'm going to be using my Morphe M4 M457 brush this does blend out it's quite a big brush it does blend out um like quite a like, big spaces if that makes sense like it it pushes it out into quite big space especially on my cheeks but that's why I use I do highlight after so we can go over and just blend it in really well Then the highlight I'm going to use NC20 in the concealer. This <clears throat> Mac, by the way, I just ordered. I used my friends the other day Nars's um, concealer in custard, and it is the best. So I ordered some, and it's going tomorrow. So I'll do a look with that. If you like. Also, I'm going to be at Summer in the City. I got invited there. So excited to receive my silver play button from YouTube. I have to receive it on stage. I'm so scared. But how many of you are going to go? If you know what it is. If you don't, it's a YouTube event. Basically, they do it every year. I did not know about it until they emailed me. 
and they they basically they do it every year and um and it's like the biggest event in the uk i think for youtube i just want to meet you all this makes me sad that i can't but it will let me know if this me sitting here is like better or worse or whatever because I don't know if I'm feeling the lighting. Also, who's been watching my brother? Who's watching my girl Chloe on there? You should all definitely vote for her. I just love her so much. She's so amazing. Everyone has some sort of misconception about her and just, ugh, I just love her. I just cannot get enough. I'm baking with Ben I, banana powder. Okay, while that's baking, I'm going to be using um, Brow Dip by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ash Brown. And just an angle brush. This is from Vanity Planet, my Vanity Planet pack. That they sent me so kindly. I know, it's something going on, my lighting's there with me. Um, yeah, I'm just brushing my eyebrows down so I can get the streaks in. Clean up my eyebrows, I'm gonna use soft ochre from MAC. And for the top, I'm just using foundation to neaten up. Then I'm just gonna set my eyebrows where this is just collection, this color last. Clear mascara. Okay, for my lids, I'm going to start off with this brownie colour from my Salted Caramel Eye Help Makeup Palette. I'm just going to put that in the crease and bring it a long way towards my nose a little bit. Just going to build up that going down a little bit towards my lid. I'm going to take, this is Peach Nectar from Anastasia Beverly Hills <clears throat> and I'm going to flour my lid. I'm going to take a MAC 283 I believe this says brush and Okay, I'm just going to take this is my um, explicit content palette by I Heart Makeup. I'm just going to work that in the corner. If you have me on Twitter or if you don't, I'll put my Snapchat and my I'll put my Twitter here somewhere. Tweet me if you're going to be at um somewhere in the city because I'd love to meet some of you guys, like seriously. Some of you are so cute, like I see most of you who are like who comment repeatedly or stuff like that. I always see you, so I'd love to meet some of you guys because you're so adorable. 
I love yeah. Then I'm going to take this coppery tone here and mix it with a bit of the this one here. So basically these two and just run that uh, lightly underneath. For eyeliner, I'm just going to use Collections um, Fast Stroke, and I'm actually going to take my angle brush and just take some off it and use that. I find doing this gives you more of a darker liner. Okay, I'm so, 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 so excited to tell you guys that I am coming out with my own lash line. If you didn't have me on Instagram already or Snapchat or Twitter, whatever, I have come out with my own lash line. It's called OK Lash. I'm um, smart, I know. I'm um, in the process of picking out what design I want for my box and everything. But apart from that, in the next couple of weeks, I were injured at all when making of these are completely cruelty free. They are mink, but they brush live animals to get the fur and like they just gently brush the live animals to get the fur. And um, the angel dust one, angel silk ones, which I will show you one of the angel silk ones. You can't see these are one pair of angel silk ones. They are, they look like mink, but they're not they're completely vegan. And yeah, I'm super excited for that. So keep an eye out. I will give you the release date. Um, I will give you the release date as soon as I figured everything out and I've sorted everything. While the lash is getting a bit tacky, I'm just gonna bronze my face up with Bobby Brown bronzer. I'm yet to know the name of this, can't remember, but. This is so cute. Undress your skin anyway in pink shimmer. I'm just gonna try this brush on. And then I'm going to use this brush and just blend it a bit. For lips, I'm going to use the I'm using Kylie Lip Kit Exposed. Depop kindly sent me a haul of makeup and they sent me wear this as well. Finally got sent a lip kit and a lot of other things that you've seen, including the Estee Lauder foundation and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight. This in pink next that you saw, and some other things as well, um, which I will be doing a whole video on. You can hear anything; it's my nephew. Screaming. This smells exactly like cake. Wait, let's try. I just realised I haven't highlighted my nose. I'm a close one, princess, but still gangster makeup. What's the? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
So yeah, this was my bronzy kind of copper look for you guys. I didn't really know what I was going to do, but I knew I wanted to use a lip kit in here somewhere because get my review on it. Yeah, this is what I was saying about Kylie lip kit. Do all little, they do it like they'll break it. Mm. Honestly, when I put it on first, it's like nice. Put on nice lightweight and stuff. But I put it on the other day and it does, especially around here. If you have, if you're going for drinks or stuff, it does come away like bits. But I mean, if you have time to re redo it all the time, it's good. I like the shade and it smells nice, but it's not the best liquid lipstick I've ever, liquid lipstick I've ever used, and it's not the worst. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Love you.